Welcome back to Tech, Tesla and Trends. Tonight, we're going to discuss Bill Gates' proposed robot tax from 2017. And in this, I think it's appropriate to, to have this conversation because with AI Day and the revelation of where Tesla is with Optimus, it is very likely that Bill Gates will circle back to his very tired and uh, somewhat disingenuous conversation about taxation on robots. Now, largely, Bill Gates automated or roboticized through software a good portion of the office world. Was the office software taxed as a robot? This is an interesting point because from my perspective, this is hey, I made my billions and now I don't want anybody else to benefit from the automation card that I played during my time. In this case, it seems to ring very hollow in my mind. And if you watch that 2017 video, his little chuckle at the end really proves the disingenuousness of that particular uh, comment on taxation for robots. Ultimately, robots are going to cost some jobs. This is a fact. It's going to happen. However, just as ATMs did not eliminate bank tellers, so too Tesla bot will not eliminate whatever other thing it impacts. Whatever the job may be, whatever the market may be, Tesla bot will not eliminate all human jobs related in that industry. In fact, many of those same branches that have ATMs outside of them are now removing some of those ATMs because they're not very well used. And that's an interesting detail. When given the opportunity, people go to talk to a real human being. It's human nature. Now, looking at the other impact that's occurring, the only reason to go to an ATM is after hours. If you're just needing that for the transfer of cash from one account to another, that's not even necessary anymore for that ATM as well. So really, the only purpose an ATM serves is an after hours cash machine. And that is actually the purpose that it serves today. And that is one of the reasons why it has been decreasing around many of these institutions because they don't need an ATM at every location. They just need one or two. And people who need cash out of their institution can go to that location. Robots are not the problem. Progress is never a detail you need to attack or seek to destroy. Unlike Bill Gates, the progress card here that we're discussing is an important one we need to embrace. In fact, back then, the EU tech czar, Andrus Anzip, was very clear about having zero interest in taxing robots because it would destroy the overall uh, good that could occur. That taxation has a purpose, and that purpose is influence over some process. Andrus Ansip was stating that it was necessary to have taxation only if you sought to influence the process. And this is an important detail because when we look at what robots are going to accomplish in our world, they're going to change how things are manufactured. They're going to change how we do things. That's not a terrible thing. Robots do change how we process materials and other equipment. They make things faster, more precisely, in an inconsistent manner at all hours of the day and night. Humanity is a biological worker. A robot is a mechanical device capable of performing the same task over and over and over again in a repetitive and in a clear and repeatable process. This matters because production levels, as we look at it, production levels are going to rise or fall in the world. If we are taxing robots in one country, what are those companies going to do? They're not going to stay in that country where they're being taxed, robot workforces. They're going to go to the country that doesn't tax that robot. Plain and simple, competition will reign. This is a reality that one of Bill Gates' level or arena of capital operation should have understood at a basic level. So it's very clear now that he has shifted his questionable intellect into one of destructive use of 
the overall good of humanity. That's an opinion, but it's one I think as we look at where he's been over the last decade, we can see consistently he seeks to hide behind charitable goods while promoting questionable behaviors. In this case, a robot tax is very destructive to the overall good of humanity because robots bring progress and progress is necessary for the, the long-term good and growth across all industries, which will result in greater safety and security for all humanity. Because a robo-taxi is far safer than a human driver once it reaches that level five capacity. And it will not even be close, statistically speaking. Will there be troubles within robo-taxis? Absolutely. Just like there always are with other technologies. Nothing is 100%. However, when you look at the safety records of humans driving cars, it is abysmal at times. And when you look at where robot drivers will be, that safety issue, it won't be in the same class. They will be far safer within a decade. And this is why it's necessary not so much to tax something, but to embrace the growth and changes within an economy, allow that entrepreneurial spirit to step forward and to create new ways of generating wealth. This is something I fundamentally believe in. Now, there's another conversation to be had here. I think part of the reason Bill Gates is seeking to tax robots is the overall belief in a universal basic income. Is that the right plan though? And that is one that I have questioned many times. There are benefits to it and there are instances where it is working today. Every place I've observed where it's occurring, at the moment where that check is paid, the price of goods goes up for months before and after. So the question becomes, is that the right answer? If you're taxing something, the price goes up. It always does. Corporations never pay taxes. This is reality. No matter how many ways you want to look at it, no matter how many times you want to claim that you have to tax a corporation, they never pay taxes. This is because they pass it along to you as the customer. They always will. You will pay a higher price every time you increase the taxation upon a company. Plain and simple. Corporations do not pay taxes. This is a proven fact. And if you don't understand that, you need to stop watching this video and go do some research to understand fully the impact of taxation upon corporations. That productivity that we're discussing in this video will not be impeded. They will just charge more for everything that is built and it will cost more for you, the end consumer, because the robot will be more consistent and cheaper for them to utilize. They'll just pass the price on to you. Their costs will not go up. Your costs will. So this is why we have to seriously question the value of a robot tax at any point in our future. There are other ways and we need to discuss those. And at some point in the future, we will have a, a better conversation on what a future economy with robots looks like. For now, I'd love to hear your comments. I'm sure many of you have some points that you disagree with me on. Feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd love to have that conversation and we'll go from there. Have a good night.